what's up guys welcome back to the phono guy and in this video we are going to do a speed test comparison between the iphone 7 plus and the nokia 8 as you know that the nokia 8 has just arrived in the market and iphone 7 plus has been here for almost an year now and now let us see that how both these devices compare with each other we know that iphone is running on apple 8 and chip and the nokia 8 is running on the latest snapdragon 835 with 4 gigabytes of ram while the iphone 7 plus is having 3 gigabytes of ram so without any further delay let's get started and let's boot these devices first and let's see which device loads faster and let's start it in one two and three and let's see which device boots up faster here and here's a nokia tone as we know that and the iphone 7 plus has loaded a bit earlier than the nokia 8. now let us start the speed test by running different applications first of all we will begin with the, the built-in applications the system applications and then we will proceed to the other third-party applications so without any further delay let's get started now and uh, here i want to tell you that both the devices are connected to the same internet and there is no app running in the background I'm simply beginning the speed test by opening the phone application in three two one and i think it was the same on both the devices and uh, now we move to the next application we have the calendar application here and we open it in three two one and uh, it was a bit quicker on the iphone 7 plus moving next we have the camera application and let me bring the devices closer and it let's open the camera application in both the devices in three two one and it's again a bit quicker on iphone 7 plus next up we have the play store and the app store in both the devices and let's open both the stores in three two one and it's a bit quicker on the nokia 8 now and nokia 8 has taken the lead here by opening the play store a bit quicker than the iphone 7 plus and now let us move to the next application we have the photos application in both the devices and opening it in three two one and again it's almost the same in both the devices and now we move to the social media applications we have a set of three applications the facebook instagram and the youtube starting with the facebook and opening it in three two one and let's see which device loads is faster and a bit quicker on the nokia 8 and it has been noticed that in opening the social media applications and opening the internet the android devices loads it faster than the iphone now opening the next application we have the instagram and opening it in three two one and i think it's the same on both the devices and now moving to the youtube application and opening it in three two one and let's see which device loads is faster and i think it's almost the same uh, although it's a bit quicker on the nokia 8 again the same results on the social media applications the nokia 8 was outperforming the iphone 7 plus by opening the facebook instagram and youtube a bit quicker than the iphone 7 plus now moving to the chrome browser and we open it in three two one and let's see which device loads it faster and i think nokia 8 again has done it a bit quicker than the iphone 7 plus it's very amazing to note that this device is outperforming the iphone 7 plus which was the best device in performance and now the nokia 8 is outperforming the iphone 7 plus and we have two tabs here one is of apple website and the other one is of nokia we start with the apple website by opening the apple website and let's see which device loads it faster and and again you can see that it is a bit quicker on the nokia 8 it's a bit quicker on the nokia 8 and although the fluidity on both the devices is almost similar everything is fine and snappy here and now let's open the other tab we have the nokia website and let's go there to check out whether which device opens it faster and let's see what happens and it's it was a bit quicker on the iphone 7 plus so there are minor differences i don't know what's the reason behind but sometimes the nokia 8 is taking the lead and sometimes the iphone 7 plus is taking the lead now let us open the photoshop application in 3 2 1 and let's see which device loads is faster and it was very quick on iphone 7 plus let us move to the lapset in 3 2 1 and 
and let's retrieve a clip in both the devices which is of same length in both the devices and view the project and render render and we press the same button at almost the same time in both the devices in three two one and it was very quick on iphone 7 plus and it was a bit late on nokia 8 although nokia 8 is performing very good in this test and now we simply move to the amazon application and let's see which device opens this application faster and in three two one and it was quicker on iphone 7 plus no it was a bit quicker on amazon i think it lost this page a bit quicker than the iphone 7 plus now let us move to the gaming applications and we have four games two or three are casual games and then we will test a heavy game and starting with the temple run 2 and opening it in 3 2 1 and let's see which device loads is faster and it is very quick on iphone 7 plus it just have completely beaten the nokia 8 now let us move to the next application we have the color switch and open it in 3 2 1 and let's see which device loads is faster and it was a bit quicker on Nokia 8. And next up is Pinout and let's open it at the same time. And I think it's quicker on iPhone 7 Plus. And now we have the Asphalt 8 which is a heavy game and let's see which device performs faster here. And as we know that the iPhone 7 Plus performs very good in loading different games. It's optimized very well for games and it was again quicker on iPhone 7 Plus. Now you can see that all the apps are running in the background and now let's see which device keeps all the app applications running in the background and starting with the basic applications again with the phone application it's there and running in the background let's open the calendar application again it's it's it has loaded again on the nokia 8 the camera application i think it's loaded again on nokia 8 Okay, I couldn't keep these applications running in the background while these applications were running in the background in iPhone 7 Plus. That's amazing to note. And we know that iPhone is very good at keeping the applications running in the background. Although it has 3 gigabytes of RAM, the optimization is very great in iPhone. Uh, now opening the Play Store and let's see what happens here. And it's kept in the background. Next up is Photos application. Yes, in the background. Facebook and refreshing on both the devices as it usually does Instagram loading on both the devices again as these social social media applications usually does this moving to the YouTube in the background there the Chrome browser same place in the background Photoshop in the background laps it and let's open it and it's again there in the background moving next we have the amazon application and it's again there in the background in all both the phones now moving to the different games again we have the temple run 2 again in the background at the same place in both the devices the color switch again there the pinout again there kept in the background moving to the asphalt 8 and again there in the background in both the phones so that's it guys this was the speed test between the iphone 7 plus and the nokia 8 and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then give this video a huge thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and up till next video bye bye